Mm -hmm. oh. Hi, good morning. I had I've just finished stretching. I woke up at, I wake up every morning at eight. Cause this motherfucker right here, he gets fed at eight, but he likes to fucking wake me up at like seven forty five. And it pisses me off. But then like after I feed him and he comes over to me, I'm like, I love you, baby. Um talking about my cat. Um, yeah, I had just, I just finished my stretches. Um, at this time I like freestyled it. Like I kind of just did like what I, what I know. I need to make my bed, but I don't give a fuck. Um, I just kind of freestyled it and it definitely lasted a lot longer. I think he's about to knock this phone off the, it definitely lasted a lot longer. Oh. Oh, it was like this. It definitely lasted a lot longer because I was just kind of like doing it. And this is the thing, I hate counting to 30. I hate 30 seconds because when I count to 30, it feels a lot longer than 30 seconds. In, in retrospect, the way I'm counting, it probably is. So I just kind of like do it as I feel. Um, I did notice I was focusing a lot on my hamstrings, my hips and my hip joints, which is fine because those those bitches are tight um but i still did focus on my back my main like thing is my lower back as you could tell in the first like five seconds five ten seconds it's pretty fat back there so um yeah but overall i've been feeling a lot better within my body i feel like i'm getting more flexible too which is really good um it's just nice like yesterday yesterday when i was doing my nightly stretches i noticed that like i was stretching like i normally would but i wasn't feeling like the stretch as much as i w were and i really did was just like oh slay like you and your body i can't do slits um but hamstrings when i'm laying flat i can get them perpendicular you know this leg down like that and it's fine I do I'm so there's something about specifically doing hamstring stretches that really like I don't want like it's almost like orgasmic how it feels no it's euphoric because I don't it's just something it's just something about the release of the stretch after you help, have held it for like to a certain point that it's just oh it feels so good I've noticed my back isn't hurting as much, which, love. So, I don't know, I'll recommend it. So, I slept, I slept pretty good. I had another bad dream. This is the thing, whenever I have bad dream, whenever I have dreams, they, like, I would say 80% are terrible. I don't remember this one, but it was pretty bad. Um, last night was a CD night. We listened to a lot of CDs last night and it was good. It was nice to put them into action. I'll actually show you. I'll show you my CDs. I Big Apple New York. What do we listen to? We listen to... This one, this one. So we listened to a total of four CDs. I actually think I might do a CD like review. Yeah, I'll do that. I think it's fun. I love CDs. So the last one we listened to, the disc, oh, the disc is in there, is Liz Story, Piano Solos, Solid Colors. And this was good. It's very calm, very calm. I did like it. Hold on, the price tag's still on it. I didn't buy this. I didn't steal this either. Okay. She's really pretty. I like her energy within this photo. You know, like I'm like this, this really just kind of like tells me what this CD will be about, especially this too, like this cover. I'm like, yes, this makes sense that it is 
piano solos, really calm music. Okay. We started out with this one. This one is not my CD and I wish it fucking were. I love this CD so fucking much. I wish I, if I had the money, I would, I would pay, I would buy this off my fucking roommate. I love this CD so damn much, so damn much. And this album isn't fucking on title. Come on, like this album needs to be on title. It is so good. The entire album is on YouTube. If you have the chance and you have the time and you want to try something, Fucking listen to this album. I swear to God. I swear to God. It's so good. It's by Kiko, Kaiko, pronunciation question mark, Matsui, Full Moon, and The Shrine. It is beautiful. The CD is pink. It is a beautiful album. It's complete. It's like just, it's like class, almost classical music. It's classical music. Um, and it's moody. It's, it's, it's dark. Uh, it's, it's just so pretty it's a little bit of jazz it is so pretty there's like i think there's one song where she's singing but it's just scatting and it's just it's a beautiful album and there's an angel number do you see that angel number so it's a it's so good it's so good um, then we listen to bell and sebastian this is a personal favorite of my roomies. Oh my gosh, I should trade these two. I should see if she wants to trade. That's a brilliant idea. Um, this is pretty good. It's a really pretty CD. I, I should definitely go through my CDs because I'm having fun doing this. It's a yellow CD. I love, I love CDs. I love CDs. And then the last one we listened to, okay, actually no, this isn't the correct order. We started with um, Miss Matsui. Then we went to Belle and Sebastian, right? And th then we went to Jazz Master 17, Nina Simone. And this is good. I mean, it's Nina Simone. Like, look at the back. Lovely. She's She looks really pretty. She's, look at this fuck-ass bob. She's serving. Um, and it's pretty good. Like, I like I liked the first half. No, Nikita Pa. I think, you know what? No, this is, it's all a good album. It's a good album. I love it. Like, Black is the color of my true love's hair. I put a spell on you. Love me or leave me. No me quita pa. Uh, Mississippi goddamn. I, it ends with I hold no grudge. That is probably one of my favorite ones. It's probably one of my favorite fucking ones. Um, then there's, there's four women. There's um, work song. There's, I'm missing one. No, I think that's really it. Da, 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 da. My baby just cares for me is really fun too. So, and then we ended with solid colors. So, yeah. Okay, but if you do want to listen to this one, I recommend a Nighthawk Stream. The first track is really good. If you don't like it, if you don't like the first track, then just like don't listen to the album because this is a great introduction track. So, yeah, we did that. Um. Today, I have plans to hang out with someone and we may go to a going away party tonight. Like, I really need to stop being a hermit. Like, internally, I'm a hermit and it's terrible. Um, for sure gonna mix again. Um, love mixing. Um, I like, listen to, I'm, this is vain, but I, I watch my own videos. Um, Cause it's, I just do. I want to see what I look like in the. I want to see how I'm, how I would be perceived. Um, and also, I, I definitely watch my DJ videos back because uh, I want to know how they sound post mixing. Cause I just freestyle, and most of the time, I think there's only there's only two videos in the playlist that I have. Try I have like gone back to and try to rework i mean uh, the reworks are the ones that i posted and it's the one with um miss miss ariana and ex um caroline polachek with the welcome to my island remix with charlie and then it was also ariana x alexander ram and um fuck i don't remember that other song but it is off his newest ep the heart heart songs that's really fun. Um, I think it was Nocturne. I think it was Noct, no. I think it was Nocturne, yeah. Or I could totally be wrong. Um, 
but yeah. Uh, yesterday I sent out a lot of, uh, I stopped by a lot of places to drop off my resume, which was really fun. It was really fulfilling. I felt like I was taking control of mi vida. I had a lot of meet cute moments. I only had one meet cute moment, but I'm not gonna shit where I eat. But I do wanna get there because work there because they're really gossipy. And when a place gossips like that, it's fucking good. It's casual, it's slay, like, it's just what I need. Cause I, I'm not a fucking professional bitch. I'm a catty patty bitch, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm drawing a lot more, which I'm really proud of. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna play Final Fantasy 15, fucking love. I love Final Fantasy. I'm a gamer boy in the sense of like, I'm a gamer boy, but I'm not a ga gamer boy, like G-A-Y-M-E-R. I would never tack that on. If I were to ever stream, I would never tack that on to me. That's just trashy. That's trashy, that's tacky, and that's tasteless. Okay, that's so millennial. And yeah, I'm shitting on you millennials. I don't give a fuck. Uh. So yeah. I I think the, the next video might be um, my CD reviews. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Cause I, I, I literally love, love. Okay.